everybody, I am Ace Crippet and today I'm back with a brand new video. Today, we are doing a video I never thought I'd ever make, which is mental. Um, for 10,000 subscribers, I opened a PO box. Um, it should be on screen here if you want to send stuff in because we're going to keep it open uh, over the next couple of months and we're going to keep opening stuff and bringing stuff in and doing it on video. So if you want to send stuff in and you want it to appear in a video like this, then yeah, there you go. That, if you want to send anything within reason, it's there, it's there, enjoy. Um, but for now, we're going to just talk about and open the so, several things that have already been sent to the PO box. Um, so we're going to do a sort of a style of two letters, one parcel, two letters, one parcel, that sort of thing. Um, because that seems to work, so yeah, we'll start off um, with the first batch of letters and parcels, which is gonna, not going to go right in front of the camera, that's a bad decision. Um, the first one uh, is this. Very nice stampage, appreciate that one. Um, it's got a sanitate back. Oh, there is something in here. Okay, there's uh, there's one, there's uh, a, a paper number two, and a... Oh, that's mad! Oh, that's mint! Okay, this seems to be... Yeah, this is exactly what I think it is. It's a Lego Weepy Angel! And there we go, that's mint. I really like that. That's amazing, that's gonna just sit on my desk. I really like it. Anyway, let's open the other things. Um, oh, okay, let's open it properly. Oh, there's... There's another... Oh, okay. Um, we'll read the letter first. Uh, Dear Ace Creeper, don't know if you would remember, but I made a Doctor Who Choose Your Own Adventure video based on the Vashta Narada. He checked it out and gave me feedback. I wanted to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch it. Also, I'm now in my second year of college, and for my final project for this year, I'm creating an animation inspired by Doctor Who called um, Pheasant Tense. That's clever. Um, which will hopefully be a better video than my Vashta Narada one. Happy birthday! Yeah, it was my birthday. Like a month ago, so thank you for that. It's a bit belated, but it's fine, because that's how letters work. And congrats on 10,000 subscribers. I really hope you enjoy um, these two landscape pieces I made on New Earth and Gallifrey. I was also on... Uh, I was also the creator of the New Earth Minecraft map, which I posted in your Discord. Yeah, I remember that. That's great. Thank you, Ace Creeper, from Max, or the Devil's Cursor. So there's New Earth. I quite like that. That's really nice. It's a lovely to get, like, hand-drawn things, because it just... I don't know, it always just, it, it just, I just love it, I think it's, oh man, and Gallifrey as well. That's, I mean, that's to be fair, it, it's better than anything I could ever produce. That's lovely. I love, oh, I love the talent of some people, and the lack of talent that I have. I love that. Thank you so much. And the little Lego Weeping Angel as well. That's mad. Thank you so much. <laughs> the next letter we've got um, is to addressed to George Sheard, aka Ace Creeper. So that was fun, uh, picking that one up. Hi Ace Creeper, I am Eddie and I am 12 years old. I love your content, I think it's really good. I'm a member of your Discord server and I really enjoy it over there. I think you stand as a great role model, not just for YouTubers, but all YouTubers, as you show that there is a way of making original content and getting a large following. Thank you very much, that really does mean a lot actually, thank you. Um, I think your milestone of hitting 10k subscribers has really boosted your self-esteem. Yeah, it kind of has a bit. Um, and I hope it will give you the confidence to uh, continue making fabulous content, uh, as I'm sure everyone likes them. Not everyone, but that's fair. <laughs> uh, don't let any dislikes in your videos put you down, as I'm sure the majority of people on YouTube love your content just as much as I do. You have inspired me to create my own videos on my own YouTube channel, Eddie's Tech. Go check it out. Um, I am sure lots of people have started making YouTube videos after seeing the success all coming from your bedroom. Not the best phrasing of that sentence, but I love it. <laughs> Please continue to make your lovely and entertaining content, Eddie from Eddie's Tech. I like the little, like, business thing on the bottom as well. Like, I I wouldn't have even thought of doing something like that. Thank you very much, Eddie. I appreciate that. Nice letter. First parcel here, um, which looks interesting. I'm ready to open it, though. This um, should be good. I don't know what's going to be in here, but I don't know what to guess. I've seen plenty of PO Box video stuff online. When it's letters, it's much easier to predict that it's going to be from a fan. But when it's a parcel, you have absolutely no idea. Um, let me try not to butcher this box, Christ. Um, yeah, don't, don't open boxes or letters like this, like, at home, by the way. Um, be more sensible than I am. Oh, I know who this is from because they mentioned it multiple times on a live stream. This is, <laughs> this is strange. <laughs> this is Donald Trump, um, toilet roll. <laughs> it's a legit, like, just Donald Trump toilet roll. That's, that is what it is. 
Oh, it's very delicate. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. It's just, it's just so stupid, but I love it. It's great. <laughs> Make toilet paper great again. Wow. Okay. It's actually called Dump on a Trump. I like that. <laughs> Although I'm not a very politically forced YouTuber, I quite enjoy. <laughs> I quite like that. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. The second batch, as we're going to call it. The first letter from the second batch. We've got this uh, here. Um, yeah, very nice. Let's get it open. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, that takes me back. God, that really does take me back. These are Doctor Who Battles in Time. These are the, it's the old card game that used to be a, a thing in the Doctor Who community. Someone sent me the Master and D84. That's pretty cool. Because, I mean... I don't actively collect these, but I have, like, a box from when I was younger where I had, like, all these in. Oh, that's cool. That's something little that I just didn't even think of. Again, like the little Lego Weeping Angel. Oh, that's cool. No, I like that, though. That's... I really like that. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm not gonna lie. I'm stuck with words. Most things that I say are either confusing or rude. I relate. Terribly. Um, the cards I placed inside the envelope were a token of my appreciation, and there are a few extras uh, that I already had... Um, to be completely honest, and they're not really that special, and realistically you might already have them, but that was a risk. I haven't got these. I have not got these. I, I had all, like, the new Who ones. I didn't, again, like, I didn't avidly collect them, but I've, there's, like, at least a hundred or something in that box. I did spend a lot of time collecting these when I was younger. So it's nice to have some sent in from a fan, because it does mean, it, 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 it's the fact, it's the thought, and I love that, and it will... I'll probably I'd sit on my desk or go in the box with the rest of them, but that's pretty cool. I just want to say, you're one of my favourite YouTubers and you deserve a lot more subscribers. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Doctor Who's played a, a large part in my life and is the only thing that has always been there and it played a crucial role in making me the person I am today. And looking back, I always remember looking forward to watching the show and loving every episode, even loving monsters in brackets. Yeah, I relate. <laughs> Upon release. Yeah, looking back, some episodes quite aren't quite as good as I once thought. I feel like I'm rambling on a bit, so I'm just gonna leave it at this. Have a nice day. Oh, it doesn't have a name on it. Oh, I, thank you whoever sent that with a really nice bordered paper. Um, that's lovely. Um, thank you, I really appreciate that. The second letter from the second batch is addressed to me. Um, there. It says, do not bend. So I'm not gonna bend it. <laughs> but we'll open it. Um, let's take it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, okay. Like, fan art. <laughs> I I know I know who this is from. Thank you. <laughs> yes, because it yeah. Ah, uh, because yeah. I I am I'm I'm, I'm kind of lost for words. I'll show you what's here. So <laughs> someone knows me incredibly well. I was thinking for a second, and then I realised. Oh yes, thank you very much. That is a drawing of me <laughs> in. <laughs> in the Woman Who Felt the Earth review, where I dress, dressed up as Whitaker and was on the green screen. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and on the back, because it says, I'm sorry you look like a 50 year old woman, in brackets. It's a look. It certainly is. <laughs> um, oh, I love that as well. Little Matt Smith there. In 900 years of time and space, I've never met anyone who wasn't important. Love that. And finally. Um, <laughs> Aha! I love it. Um, and on the back here, a badly drawn Alan. As you can tell, I'm not too great at mouths. You're fine with mouths. That you could tell straight away when I opened that. That, that was Alan. <laughs> oh, that's mint. Thank you. That's great. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's made me laugh. <laughs> Package, um, which is an interesting one. This, <laughs> I love the the return addresses on some of them because it's like slightly disconcerting. The Monster Bookshop. By the way, let's have a look inside. I see a DVD. I'm not quite, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'm. I see a DVD. That's an order form. I'm not going to cheat. That's that's cheating. I can't look at the order form. Street. <laughs> I think I know who said this. I think this is um, Adam. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's insane! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's films we've talked about. That <laughs> Final Destination. Brilliant. I love it. <laughs> Never seen it, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing it now. Pixels, which I've openly said I cannot stand. 
but I'll yeah. <laughs> and the last one, which I love the box, is just oh it comes with glasses. It's Spike is 3D. <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. The two-disc collector's edition as well. The box is a bit buggered, but you'd expect that. It is an older film. It comes with 3D glasses. Look. <laughs> Are these even going to fit on my massive head? <laughs> no, no, they don't. <laughs> they barely do. <laughs> Adam, you're coming over and we're watching this. <laughs> There's a disc for the 2D version and the 3D version. Right, okay, on the second batch. Um, number one, we've got uh, <laughs> an address to me here, uh, it's a little letter I presume, so we're going to open that and have a look and talk about this, should be quite fun. This one says don't open on camera, so I didn't, I've read it, it's lovely, thank you very much, I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't want to say that on camera, that's really nice, and you didn't even leave a name, but thank you whoever sent that one, that says don't open on camera, um, really appreciate it. This one... Here, um, let's have a open of this. Oh, this is on notepad paper. Interesting. That is a photo of a Dalek. I don't know if I, is it is that. I hope if the, if the person who sent this owns that Dalek, I'm very jealous. Thanks for making me jealous by sending a, a professionally printed photo of it. Dear Ace Creeper, my name is Dean. I'm a fan of your YouTube channel. I thought I would send you a pic of my favourite and most prized possession. <coughs> you jammy so and so, my life size Dalek. Ah, you sent a picture of a life-size Dalek. That's amazing. I mean, it's a great Dalek. Don't get me wrong, but I'm incredibly jealous now. <laughs> um, which you can keep <laughs> keep the pic. Well, I'm glad I can keep it. I'm glad I don't have to send it back. Um, I respect your opinion and your thoughts in your lists. And, uh, and as a suggestion, I think you should watch my favourite Dalek story, Death to the Daleks. And I was wondering if you like anything else like wrestling. Uh, I'm not a fan of wrestling, personally. I know a man who is, Adam Sanderson. Uh, big naughty shout out. Uh, one of my mates in real life will love that. Um, I'm not a big fan of wrestling myself, but I am a fan of other TV shows like Westworld and. Um, let me have a think. What else am I a fan of? Westworld. Um, I mean, if Marvel films, DC films, all that sort of stuff. Mostly similar genres of stuff, but anyway, moving on from that, we have another parcel to open. I have a feeling. I have a feeling I know who this is from as well. Um, only because they told me they'd got something and addressed it to a Creeper and I can already see and I'm already slightly, moderately baffled as to, um... <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Um... <laughs> Why have you spent... I hope you haven't spent that much money. Okay, three JLS CDs. I don't think I've ever mentioned liking JLS. The reason is because I don't. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going to kill him. <laughs> right, okay. So, I mean, Adam, despite me hating Pixels, he's done quite well because <laughs> they're filmed for a collection. I don't know. I don't think I'm ever going to listen to... <laughs> Oh, do not make this a meme. This is, this is, <laughs> it is his type of humour though, so congratulations for making me laugh. I can't even believe you bloody sent that. <laughs> okay, so the final two, I think this is from him as well, because it's addressed to Ace Creeper, because he said he would do that. Now, it might be from a fan, hope it is. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh God, what is this? <laughs> Sp Spy Kids 4. Is this the NAF one that came after? <laughs> it's another Spike. I've got... T How? On a PO box in... For a, a oh, there's another one as well. Oh, sorry. There's... Sorry. Two discs of Spy Kids 4. Sorry. Uh, correction. Both discs. There's two of the same disc of Spy Kids 4. Is there another one? No, thank God. Yeah, I, sh I don't know what I expected when it said uh, from Shaggy's DVDs and Blu-rays, but you know what? <laughs> a Doctor Who YouTuber opens a PO box. I think I have more Spy Kids related things than Doctor Who things today. <laughs> this is insane. Well, I'll be sure to watch the film twice on separate DVDs. Thanks for that. Um, <laughs> we'll put that on the pile with the rest of the Spy Kids things. So the next letter we've got, let's um, presume this is something else Spy Kids related. I hope not. <laughs> I don't think it will be, but yeah, let's open it. Let's have a look. Let's, ha 
a gander. That's that's actually kind of cool. I like that. There's nothing else in there, so I don't know who this is from, but thank you. That's kind of cool. It's very um. It's very um. It reminds me very much of Batman Forever. You know when the Riddler does things like that with the, with the newspaper clippings. That's cool. Keep calm and reverse the polarity is what it says. That's brill. I love that. That's really cool. I love fan made stuff like that. It's just really nice to receive and see. I love that. Thank you. Thank you, whoever sent this. Ugh, right, this one, I believe, is definitely from a fan. Because it says, Kablam it on the side. Which, by the way, I do appreciate. That's brilliant. I love the fact that someone went to the effort of getting a sticker, putting it on the side. Which makes me assume this isn't direct from Amazon. This is just an Amazon box. Um. I'm quite excited to find out though, what it actually is. So this is addressed to me as always. And we've got a Kablam sticker. I love that. That's mint. I really actually like the Kablam sticker. Why would you get? Why would you use a Kablam sticker on me? Right. Okay. Um, let's open this. Okay. This seems to be. This seems to be a box of miscellaneous things. Um, so let's have a gander at that. Oh no! No 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 no! Oh my god! I shouldn't have that in front of the camera. That's bad. That's not very professional. But oh my god! Right, straight away, there's about three or four things, five, whatever. That's caught my eye. Let's. Re oh, I know who this is. Oh my god! You legend! Thanks for helping me clear out some of my old Doctor Who tat. <laughs> Apologies for the damage on the tie. I'm hoping that the Clara bobblehead makes up for it. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you've received some cool stuff, mate, um, and uh, that you enjoy your milker. I will. I love milker. Oh, <laughs> Remember to feed steak bake. I presume that's what that thing is. Right. Well, we'll... First, the first thing that caught my eye was this. Oh. Uh, the first thing that caught my eye was this, which is insane. This is from Magnolia. This is, like, this is legit expensive, man. This is, like... But I tell you what, though... This will absolutely be shown up in my Doctor Who like, skit things when I do them in the summer and I'm dressing up as tenant. This will be on there. That's amazing. I love that. That's a great, a proper tenant tie. Oh, I actually love that. That blew me away when I opened it. I was like, oh my god, what? Uh, two bars of Milka. I love Milka. My, one of my, I, pretty much my favourite chocolate of all time. Love it. So if you are looking to send anything in in particular, love a bit of Milka. So thank you very much for that. I'm going to really enjoy those later. Um, two classic DVDs here. Oh, Tomb of the Cybermen. Is one I really want to watch, so that's that's exciting. And the Ark in Space, oh that's cool as well. I've not, I, I don't have, I haven't heard as much from that, but excited all the same to have a look at that. That's mint. Oh, that's cool. Thank you again for that. And same from the same box. Let's have a look. Clara, <laughs> the Clara Oswald bobblehead. I've seen this before. The face is so disturbing, <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Can we, get, can we get that out? Oh, man. This is... Is it from the people that... From Funko, which is odd, because they usually make quite... At least not offensive-looking um, objects. This is moderately... <laughs> like, the head's gone... Oh. <laughs> this is terrifying. I don't... <laughs> I can't help but not, I can't help but laugh at that. Oh God, no, God, no! <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I accidentally broke that <laughs> by bobbling the head. I thought it looked a bit dis disturbing. <laughs> I broke it already. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll look at that in a bit. Um, oh God, that's terrifying. Though I don't like it. What else we got in here? We got oh my god! There's a, well, there's a cow. I presume this is steak bake. This is a Minecraft cow. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh man, it's I forgot like the release merch for this. I love how like it looks like he's been sat on like like squashed. <laughs> Bless him. Right. Well, yeah. Make sure you remember to feed him, otherwise he'll get grouchy. By the way, I didn't mention the amazing art on the bottom of that is just incredible. I love the art there. There's a great Dalek, um, Adipose, the thing from the Crimson Horror, I think. It's Levine, an Absorbaloff, a Pating. <laughs> there's a Pating in the bottom there. Oh, that's, can, we, can we get that? Yeah, and there's uh, the Handles as well, Handles head. And a TARDIS. Um, like I'd be able to guess. Um, oh, God. 
Ooh, a little Matt Smith uh, character building uh, thing. Let's have a look. Let's get that to focus. It's not going to focus. I'm going to try and get that alongside my Weeping Angel uh, figurine as well. Um, and this as well. I remember this. I remember this being a thing like years ago. But this is like just really cool. So it sort of just like appears. It's hard to show on camera. And you probably can't show on camera. But oh, you can kind of see it there. So the intention is you put something at the bottom. And then it will sort of reflect all sides. And then kind of appear like it's in 3D on top. When it's actually down at the bottom down there. But like the oh, it's a 3D image. I can kind of see it. I used to have these things when I was younger, so that's kind of like a cool nostalgic kind of flashback there, which I quite like. Um, I need to try and actually get the thing in properly. That might, that might be useful as well. That's cool. I like that. So if you look over the top, it looks like there's a sort of holographic TARDIS that you can't actually touch. And there's a little adipose one as well. That's mint. Thank you so much for that. Um, God, that last package, that was a good one to end on. Um, thank you so much for all the stuff you sent. That's, that's a lot of stuff there, and I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. It's been a bit of a long one, sorry about that. Um, but we will keep doing these. So if you keep sending stuff in, we're going to keep opening them on camera. Um, if you want to send something in, it can be anything at all. I mean, you've seen the prime examples today. Even Spy Kids 3 will make me laugh. Don't buy me more copies of Spy Kids 3. Um, I mean, there's some great stuff there, like classic DVDs. I mean, Milka, favourite chocolate, that's probably a good, a good thing. But, like, little stuff like a Weeping Angel thing, that's kind of cool. I, I really like that. Um, there's probably other Lego stuff online and all that sort of thing. Um, character options, figures, or whatever, along those lines. Anything you fancy, um, send in, uh, if you want to. The address is on screen here, in the corner. Um, yeah, so, address a parcel of that, or address a letter to that, and I'll read it out on camera, I'll open it on camera, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'll see you hopefully next month with the next batch of things to open. So, yeah, I'll see you all then. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment below for any more suggestions in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out all the other stuff in the description as well. Thank you to everyone who's got a parcel, a package, or a letter in. It's all been great, and it's actually a, a lot of stuff there. Uh, and I'll see you all next time. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.